Okay, I don't know if you're ready to see my swollen face. Um, okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. I have my jaw surgery, what the hell? <laughs> I am, I can't even speak properly. I'm still, <laughs> I am one month post-op and as you can probably tell, I'm still very swollen yes i'm very very swollen um and i still can't eat foods until six weeks post-op um so i'm very hungry <laughs> so i thought i would combine two videos ideas that i had which is one month post-op and i've actually got a list of things that um i didn't prepare myself for with a recovery like little things that i think you guys want to know okay, so let, let's discuss um how i'm feeling one month post up let's get that over the, the way because there's not many videos on the one month mark um one month post up i am wearing bands at night when i sleep and i hate them i keep waking up in the middle of the night panicking because i can't open my mouth but they're just part of the journey, it's fine, I wear them. I can eat soft foods, um, so I'm living off um, like jack of potato with tuna and things like that. Um, I haven't tried pasta yet, I'm going to wait to the six week. Um, and I'm craving all the fast food. That is something you guys need to, any of you that are having your surgery, sorry. Um, You'll need to like just make the most of what you can eat because the hunger is real. <laughs> Talking and communicating, as you can see, is not the easiest. I can't open my mouth very wide and I'm actually getting very tired filming this video, but I want to get this video filmed, so I'm trying. <laughs> um, I can't smile or smile very awkwardly, like, but my bite. I am so happy that I've been told I can have my braces off by the autumns. I have about four months left in braces because my bite is doing so well. Like, what? The main things that are bothering me at this point is food, as I've just discussed, and um, the swelling. I don't <laughs> like the swelling, especially because I'm more swollen on this side and it just feels really tight and swollen still. Um, but it's okay, I can deal with it. It's, it's, like come on it's gonna go down so it's absolutely fine so yeah that's one month post drop feeling quite good um and now i'm going to discuss some things that kind of surprised me when i was recovering and i wrote them i wrote them i wrote them on my notes so i could um share with you point number one is bleeding from the nose now i think this is if you have upper jaw surgery so i had double jaw surgery um you're, you're gonna bleed from your nose but it's not like well for me it's not like it's gushing out it was like a lot of dried blood and then you get dried blood bogeys <laughs> i'm really written this on the internet i feel like telling you guys so when i woke up now there will be a vlog i think but when i woke up i had lots of dried blood on my nose and then I noticed when I was using a special mouthwash, like when I was back home, I was using that three times a day. I couldn't um, swish um, normally mouthwash. I had to put my face side to side. And every time I did that, it was like a watery, bloody nose. And it, it was just annoying. It wasn't like anything scary. It was just like, ugh. So I had to like get a tissue and sort it out. But um, yeah, you'll, you'll get a lot of bleeding nose, but unless it's like gushing, I wouldn't panic. Point number two, how greasy your skin gets and then it goes dry. Now, the things on the list are applicable to me, um, but they might happen to you. So, my skin looks really shiny and greasy and I think it's from using the Hylofirm and having like something cold on my face. And then at day six, I had like peeling dry skin and um, that's when I made sure that I kind of kept with my skincare routine so your skin is affected by the surgery and i recommend to make sure you have a good face moisturizer and a gentle exfoliator this is the one i use 
so i love this product and it is an exfoliating toner so this is so gentle if you want to exfoliate a little bit um so this tixie pixie flow tonic number three um so when you're recovering well me um your lack of energy and you probably already know this so i was in bed I had a TV on. I could not stay awake to watch the TV. I kept dozing off and waking up. And it might have been the painkillers I was on. Um, but um, you, you don't know what to do with yourself the first few days. Like, you, you want to be awake, but you want to be asleep. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I want to put that point in. And the next point is medication. This is my personal medication that I was put on and you might not but i was on um painkillers three times a day antibiotics uh three times a day um, um mouthwash three times a day but they all had to be like specific spaced up times so i had alarms set up on my phone of when i had to take each thing so then i didn't forget i was like really quite strict with it uh, and it was annoying because the antibiotics you had to space out exact amount of time between so one of the like two of the sets were early in the morning and late at night or something and it was just annoying someone to, to sleep um but that's fine next one is swelling last a lot longer than expected as i said i'm very swollen still like not only can i see it I can really feel it <laughs> I can really feel the swelling it's really tight um on my face and it's not a pleasant feeling but it's not the worst uh so um swelling can you hurry up and go please the first week no two weeks it would hurt to like smile or laugh it was the stitches I'm talking about upper jaw surgery the stitches were like up here and it would really hurt to laugh like you would feel like you're going to rip the stitches out so don't let people make you laugh and um, this one's quite important because um it could affect you in the hospital and that is not all nurses are experienced with jaw surgery patients which is absolutely fine so there's quite a turnaround of nurses in the hospital and they kept trying to give me full big tablets when I'm banded shut and I had to tell them hang on a minute I can't swallow a tablet I need it in liquid form or and and like water I can't drink water properly and I had to ask for syringes so don't be scared to ask um you know it's it's fine they may not be aware um just ask what you need and and if they try and give you a tablet and you can't take a tablet say no and ask for it in liquid form or to be crushed crushed why did i do that this one's attractive it is the amount that you dribble <laughs> i i had lots of towels like little face towels like this that i had to use because i was so numb I would feel like wetness and I'd be like oh for god's sake I'm dribbling and it lasted for a good two weeks I think so um get yourself prepared to dribble a lot <laughs> another thing during the hospital stay for me is um the morning after my surgery a lot of people visited me like different doctors and different nurses that and I was kind of like, I, I think I've met you before, I don't remember, but so many people visited me and I was like, who are you? They were all aware of my surgery and was like, give me the updates or talking to me about it. And I was just like, I don't know who you are. So the ice, the like the crawling down on your face, um, it only feels nice for the first few days. Uh, after day four, I started to use a hot water bottle with something right around it and that actually felt nicer than ice because it made my face even more stiff so um maybe make sure you've got a mixture of cold and warm options and the last point is um how different everyone's recovery is 
Um, I am following two different jaw surgery groups on Facebook and there are some people that talk about their experience like it is the worst thing ever and there's some people that talk about their experience like oh it's a breeze um so this is just a reminder to um just take your own journey because everyone is different um and especially like um a lot of people aren't allowed to go on a soft food diet for six weeks but i was allowed to go on a soft food diet after six days um some people have a splint where their band is shut for a long time um and some people aren't bandaged just at all so everyone's experience is different they have a different surgery um and you know it's something that you just gotta go through on your own my personal experience i will probably discuss on the jaw surgery vlog a bit more clearer um when that goes up <laughs> I, I just think don't read all the bad stories and panic and don't read all the good sto stories and think oh it's going to be easy. Um, each person is different. And um, finally probably the biggest thing I, I should have spoke about one month post-op is how I feel about the way I look. <laughs> I keep laughing I don't know I'm nervous filming. Um, wow. I am very swollen so it's very very hard to determine how I look however I am very pleased that I do not look goofy anymore if we look back at all the videos my teeth stuck out like a sore thumb you know you meet my teeth before you meet me <laughs> and now it's like they're more natural and blended into my face um and that's what I wanted and I still look like me I still look in a mirror and I look like me and that's another point I wanted to add actually um I read some people were like don't look in the mirror the first week like don't you'll scare yourself blah 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 I think the opposite I think you know you're gonna expect to be swollen so just deal with it because if you don't look at yourself for like a week or two after your surgery you are going to probably get a shock more than when you don't like if i didn't look regularly at the mirror every day i might be like oh my god i don't look like me i'm pan and panic but as i've seen my recovery and seen how my face changes every day i'm just n used to it and i don't have like a panic of oh my god i look so different so yeah um, I will be uploading a dual surgery vlog. I've vlogged a lot of footage, like little clips. Um, but I'm going to wait till my swelling goes down a little bit more. And I will film like an intro and um, do a bit more about it. Um, and maybe like, yeah, so there will be footage. There will be a dual surgery vlog. Um, but I'm just waiting for the swelling to go down a little bit more so I can make it a proper video where you can kind of see the final result through the process. So yeah, this is me. Well, I'm one month and like three days post-op, but nah. <laughs> this is me one month post-op. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling good. And look out for more videos from me where I will be um, going through more stuff. Um, just waiting for this to go down. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Bye.